cosmology of the Arantia book. Um, first, let's go over a, a review of the structure of the universe of universes as presented in the Arantia book. At the center of all things is Paradise Isle, uh, where the, the home of God, the Eternal Son, and the Infinite Spirit, and your eventual home, hopefully someday. Surrounded by that are the three orbits of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, and then the seven orbits of the billion Havana, perfect Havana worlds. Outside of that is the, um, the two layers of dark bodies, which provide the gravitational attraction to keep everything together in the grand universe and the master universe. And then outside of that, you have the seven super universes, ours being the seventh, and all the structures that are in it uh, of the universe of Overton and the local universe of Nebadon of Jesus. Um, outside of this, there then are four outer space levels, each one exponentially larger than the other. The only inhabited portion of the master universe, which is everything, is the grand universe, which is just the center portion that we've talked about. And so I've made an attempt to try to figure out what actually galaxy clusters represent these seven super universes. I did this several years ago and I haven't researched it in a long time and I did it pretty quickly and so most likely it's not correct and if anybody out there has done a better job I would like to know but obviously the great attractor is the um, is the um, home of God and it's Paradise Isle. Um, our scientists must remember that they can't measure all of the gravity of Paradise Isle, so they can't possibly know how actually strong it is. Uh, okay, so um, what I came up with is that I'm going to name several galaxy clusters or super clusters, and I think these represent maybe six of the seven super universes, but we don't. I don't know for sure. So. Um, the Virgo supercluster is one, the Hydra Centauri supercluster is one, the Lanakian supercluster is one, the Shapely supercluster, the Norma cluster, which is our O large merging galaxy, that might be super universe number one. And then Milky Way, we know as the center of the super universe number seven, it and maybe seven galaxies that are orbiting it represent over time. The, the universe of Overton. And so um, the great attractors at the center of all of that. And then if we look, this is um, mankind's representation of um, everything that is under the control of the great attractor. And we, here we see Norman the great attractor is right here. Of course, mankind made this, so he put the Milky Way at the center of the of everything, but this is the furthest. Dis we are, our super universe is the furthest from the um, the center of everything of all the super, super universes. So probably the center section represents the grand universe, and everything else it represents the master universe, uh, including the un uninhabited planets. So um, um, our um, scientist view of the Big Bang and how everything came about a few billion years ago can't be correct. Um, everything is much older than that. The universe of Jesus has been actively under construction for 400 billion years, and the first inspector came here a trillion years ago. And I'll make a separate video on why this Big Bang can't be correct.